what I look for when I judge the poultry is you're looking for the condition of the birds. Do they have nice feathers? Are they clean? Um, and then you're also looking for confirmation, just like you would with a dog or a horse or anything else that people are more familiar with showing. It's all about the shape of the body, uh, different types of combs, different types of feathers, feathers in different spots on the body. Um, so there's a lot to, to, to judge on. Oh, it's a lot of fun. You know, I, I have always said that if a kid has to be responsible for an animal, that it teaches them so much about life. Being responsible for something else that's living, that needs food and water and care. It, it just makes a huge difference. Teaches them compassion. Teaches them to be responsible for something. It's a Rhode Island red hen. It's a common breed. Uh, it's a kind of a heritage breed of chicken. Um, what got her that, she's in great condition. She doesn't have a feather out of place today. She also has beautiful color for the breed. Sometimes people think every red chicken they see is a Rhode Island red, and that's not the case. They are really from a, a distance, they appear black. When you get closer, you can see that she's a much more richer mahogany uh, type of red. She's got great size for the breed, and I love the top line on her. She's got a nice level back, just a little bit of rise to the tail, and she's got a really nice, nicely shaped comb uh, as well, just by far was an easy decision today. She was by far the, the, the most attractive bird here. I think what's great about this is now that we're in a time of much more urban setting, um, with the birds out here, it gives a lot of people a chance to see them that maybe, you know, maybe grandma and grandpa remember having birds as a, as a child. They come to the fair, they can see those again and kind of relive some memories and stuff like that. So I think it's good for the public. And then also people that have never been exposed to it before, ever. You would not believe when they bring in a lot of the kids from the daycares, they have no idea where the egg actually comes from. They think the egg comes from a carton in the grocery store. You know, they think that chicken McNugget was somehow formed in a factory. So it's, it's awesome to have them out here to educate kids and just to give them a chance to see how it really all starts out. We have lots more fare left, so come out to the fair.